welcome back to my channel so today i'm doing a makeup video i've never done one of these um my friend ashley who i will tag down below who has a makeup instagram as well as a youtube channel gave me a list of things to do to do my makeup um and basically do a look that she has planned out for me so i'm really really excited um i used to do pageants so like i know what makeup can look like um and I can do like my basic makeup but I'm not the best at like executing anything different besides like my normal look that I would do so I'm really, really excited for this um I will actually show you guys a screen recording of the direction she's giving me right here so here's a screen recording So yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I have my iced coffee right here. Um, it is nighttime, but we're gonna get started with this. So we're gonna do my brows first. We're gonna take a brow pencil of any kind, hopefully with a spoolie, and use a spoolie to comb through your brow hair so all your hairs are up and out. Um, afterward, take your brow pencil and draw a line right where the underneath your brow, starting a little past front. Okay, so I'm gonna take this. I guess this is how like people would do that oh that's backwards so like this i'm taking the anastasia beverly hills brow wiz and chocolate and i'm going to do my brows so yeah we're gonna see how this looks i'll probably fast forward some of the parts of this once i edit it but we're gonna make a line Okay, so I have one brow down. That's good. Okay, so one brow's done-ish, kind of. It's not done, but like it's filled in. As you can see, this one isn't filled in. Um, we're gonna take my concealer and we're just gonna take a little bit of the product onto this brush. This is a Morphe um, brush that I have lying around. Um, and I'm just gonna, ooh, wow. Okay, we might have just messed that up a little bit. She didn't specify carving out your brows, and I'm not a big fan of carving out my brows, but for the sake of this video, we're just gonna try something new. And so I kind of carved out with my Shape Tape, um, Shape Tape Contour, or Contour Concealer in Fair. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other one and then carve that one out and then we'll get back to the instructions. Okay, so I finished the brows and I think they look pretty okay. Um, I carved both of them out on the ends with concealer and then it says to take like a brow gel. I don't have brow gel, but I do have, um, it's like this Too Faced brow it's like tinted i don't i don't know what you would call this i don't even know what color this is to be completely honest with you i've had it for a while now it's like this this is like what this blue looks like so i'm just gonna take it through my brows it basically like sets them pretty well as far as having them stay when i actually do them and i actually do my makeup so yay brows are done let's move on okay so we're gonna go on to my eyes now using any eye primer or concealer of your choice apply it to your eyes using a flat brush or your finger take whatever eye shadow palette you want um pick shades that are neutral doesn't matter um the lightest color out of the ones you have chosen will be your tr transition shade so pack that shade into your crease and use a small circular motion to blend it okay this might be the hardest part for me um, she gave me like rules to this too. So one of the rules is that um, I can only pick one eyeshadow palette for the entirety of my eyeshadow application. No switching between palettes and false, la false lashes are required. So 
I haven't decided which palette I'm going to use. I really like this sultry one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, it's really fun. And these are the colors from it. I actually don't even think I've used it. Maybe I've used it once. Those are the colors from it. But I also have this Morphe palette. This big one. It's the Morphe 3502. And oh my god, I'm gonna get oh my gosh. It's broken. Okay, so we're gonna put my Morphe. Oh my gosh. My black shadow in here broke. That's super fun. So that's gonna get all over my hand. I'm going to use this sultry, the Anastasia Beverly Hills um one. And I'm really excited. So the actually I don't I don't think I have to use this because the, the brush is brand new, girl. Okay. Well, we're going to use this brush to start out with what she has told me to do. So, back to the instructions. Um, this is a whole... This is all new to me. Um, I need to prime. First, we're going to prime. We're going to prime. Okay. So, I'm going to take my Morphe Eyelid Primer in Translucent. It's kind of dirty. I'm so sorry. I hope you can read that. Oh, my hands are dirty. So, I'm going to put this on and then I'm probably going to wash my hands. Because that would be good. Idea. Okay. This is going to be fun. Okay. Now that that's on, I'm going to go wash my hands. And let that kind of chill out. And I'll be back so we can start the eyeshadow. Okay, so my hands are clean. Um, let's get into the eyeshadow, shall we? This should be fun. Um, so I'm going to take the sultry one. Um, let me read this. Colorful, neutral, doesn't matter. I guess this is kind of neutral. Um, shows how much I know. Lightest color out of the ones you have chosen. Transition shade. So pack the shade into your crease and use a small circle motion to blend it okay i like this color we're gonna use this one we're gonna use twig oh my goodness we're gonna use twig well oh, you can see my ring light and we're just gonna pack that into oh my goodness this is oh my gosh it's very pigmented um we're just gonna pack this into my crease don't know how this is gonna go so Okay, not too bad with a girl with literally no talent. Um, this reminds me, I also like did my hair and makeup when I did Giovanni. So like, I don't think I'm that bad, but let's do the other one. I, I would hope that this is what she meant. I think that's okay. I think I think we did that. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um. Well, so much blooded. Next, take take this next shadow and pack it under the first shade, blending it just enough to add dimension. I don't know what the next shade was going to be. I don't know where I was going with this. But that's okay. I think I'm gonna take birch. It's this one right here. I mean, I could be totally wrong. Like this could be the worst look I've ever done in my entire life. But we're gonna take that and we're gonna Okay, not too bad. It added some color honestly. I don't know if it was the color I was going for, but So then we're going to take our darkest color, 
which might be this middle one. It's called Dys Dystopian. That one right there. That's the shade we're gonna take. And this is gonna be for my outer corner. I don't think I'm using the right brush for this, but remember, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, doesn't look half trash. We're gonna do the other eye now. I don't know why they both kind of look a little different, but they they do. They do kind of look a little bit different. I don't know what I just did to it either. Okay. Well, now that I look like this, we're going to take a glitter shade or a matte shade, it says, and we're going to pack it in to the inner corner. So, like this. I'm going to take this, it's called Fresh. I'm gonna take it right there. I like to put a glitter sometimes on top of my matte shades. So this is a pretty matte shade. Um, so here we go, we're gonna pack this in and we're gonna see what it looks like. Okay, so we got some packed in. We're gonna take this and we're gonna blend it out. God. Yeah, so a little bit more on this side. Yeah. Okay. This is what my eyes look like. Not bad at all. I'm not mad about it. It could be worse. So now we're going to take my false lashes. And these are the ones I have. I think I've worn them once. Um, their packaging is kind of dirty because I literally keep them in my bank bag for what? I don't know. But this is what they are. They're house of lashes. And then this is what they look like. I've worn them once. So they're actually pretty clean. They're fitted to my eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on. Okay, so update, we have lashes on. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't like lashes because they remind me of when I would wake up early and put them on. And yeah, I didn't like to put them on at 5 a.m. for runway shows all day. But I do like these lashes. I They're big and like this corner is being kind of tricky with me, but this one actually went on pretty easily. So I guess we don't, clearly we have a problem eye today and it's this one. But as soon as this corner figures out what it's doing and I kind of let it dry, I think it'll be fine. But anyways, we're going to take mascara and we're going to set mascara, lightly blend your natural lashes with your falsies. Don't be too hard with it. We don't want the mascara wand to uplift the falsies. Okay, so I'm going to go do that now, um, just in the upper part, and then I'll be back. Besides poking myself in the eye with my mascara wand, because I don't know what I'm doing sometimes, um, the falsies and the mascara are on, and they don't look too bad with my look that I kind of did. You kind of can't see my look because of my eye shape, but that's okay. So, cool. We're now on the next sheet. Now that the upper eye part is done, we're going to move on to the face. Take a primer of your choice and apply it. I don't have primer because I'm an idiot, so we're not going to put on primer. We're going to use... I moisturized my face already because you can see it's moisturized. So, primer. Um, we're going to highlight and contour underneath our foundation. This technique is used by a lot of celebrity makeup artists. Okay. Okay. So, the contour that I use is the Tarte one. It's my concealer, Double Duty Beauty. So, I'm going to take that first and do it under my eyes. 
little little action. We're gonna blend that out with my beauty blender. We're gonna see how that looks. So <laughs> it's not that, I don't know if you can see, like on my end, it's not super bright, but like, I think my nose is just having its own little party. So it looks super bright. Also my face is tan, so I don't know how much this is all gonna match. Okay, we're gonna take some of this and put it up here too, cause that's what it says to do in the directions. Okay. Too much. Okay. Okay. Hey, girly, what's up? Because, like, my pimples are driving me crazy. You can literally see my contour from like my natural, like how tan my face is and how light my contour is, but it's fine. Okay. No, did I do away with it? Okay, Ashley, I'm sorry. I thought I had a contour. Is it on this side? I don't, I didn't think I had a contour anymore. So we're actually just gonna apply my foundation on now. Um, I used the Born This Way by Too Faced foundation in snow, which I actually think is a lot lighter for what I need on my face. But um, yeah, we're gonna actually just apply this everywhere. Okay, this is what my face looks like right now. You can still see that there's like a contour underneath my eyes. That's like, oh wow, blend that out, sister. That's like lighter, but yeah, this is what we're working with. I'm using the Kat Von D Shade Plus Light Contour Palette. I heavily use this, a lot of pageant girls do. Um, it's my life. And then I use this e.l.f sculpting face brush for like my cheekbone area and like my forehead area and then i use this morphe smaller brush for my nose and a little bit of the smaller areas that i like to contour out so let me do that and i'll show you what it looks like okay so i have my contour on now as you can see so i contour up here 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 this 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 and this all like this um, I actually am going to put my translucent powder on before I blend it all out, but I'm going to use the Morphe Bake and Set setting powder in translucent. So it's this, and then when I open it up, it's this right here, um, and this is what I use like all the time. Um, the Kat Von D translucent powder is really good too. I used to use that when I did pageants. So I'm going to add this to my face and then I will show you what I look like when I get back. Okay, so I basically just finished doing my setting powder. And I'm gonna let that just chill for a second. And then um, I gotta get ready for the next step. So let me read this. I'm going to finish my face. I'm gonna blend it out um, in a minute. I'm gonna use this um, blending brush that I always use. Um, but I'm also going to take hints of the light part of this palette and just kind of put it on the places where I want it to stay. I'm going to blend out the contour a little bit and then I'll be back for finishing my eyes. Okay, so I blended out my translucent powder. I um, also blended out my contour. I'm going to take a sip of iced coffee because this is a lot for me. 
but it's fun. I'm enjoying my time. I'm really happy that Ashley had me do this. So we're going back to the eyes by finishing with the lash line um, and mascara on the lower lashes. Take an eye brush you may have that will allow you to apply the shadows precisely so we can avoid a messy under eye. Take whatever shadow you want to use and place it so the outer corner of your eye and the lower lash line connect back together. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this and I'll be back to show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so really quick, I went in with this shade right here, Twig and Dystopian. I went with Twig first and then Dystopian after. And I did my lower lash line. I did um, Twig first and then kind of like blended it in a little bit. And then I blended in a little bit of the Dystopian. So this is the look that you get. My eyes look a lot bigger now. Um, and then we're going to finish off with some mascara. And then we'll be on to the next step. So now my eyes look super big. Not super fun. So this reminds me of when I did pageants. My eyes are huge. Um, back to the face. Now I can apply blush. So I use a MAC 107 brush for my blush. And then I use the Tarte Party blush. It's my favorite blush to use. And this is what it looks like. So we're going to take that and we're going to put it on my cheeks. Fun, right okay well, now that my all my hair has gotten in the way we have my blush on that's super fun what's up blush um i'm going to smooth out and blend out the blush and the contour together just so they're a little less harsh and like in your face so let me do that and i'll be right back okay so now that we're done with the blush i've kind of blended it out a little bit and we have basically like everything done we're gonna apply highlight. So I have my nice fun fan brush here. I have a brush set by the way, and it's really hard for me to show it, so I'm not gonna show it right now. But um, it's from Morphe, I got it for Christmas a couple years ago. I love it, it has some great brushes. So for my highlight, I'm gonna take um, So Hollywood by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So this is the one. And I don't use this a whole lot, but when I got it, I did, so. And we're going to put a small packing brush, focus on the high points of your face, tops of your cheekbones, brow bone, cupid's bow, and very tip of your nose. Okay. Okay, so I think the face is done, basically. Um, lips, it's time for lips. My favorite part of any, do, doing anything. Um, she said I get to choose what to do because she has no idea what my eyes look like. So I'm gonna do my signature um, lips that I always do all the time. They're literally my fave. So I'm gonna go in to my outer lips and line the outside with um, this i don't even know what it's called oh it's called hush hush by buxom i basically use like almost all of it um but i'm gonna line my lips with that and then i'm gonna go in with a lighter color and then i'll show you what that looks like apply glosses apply glosses apply glosses they're gonna look good so let's go ahead and do that and this is what the finished product looks of my lips so yeah my makeup is basically done so yeah, I'm basically done now. Um, these are my lips. They're done. Um, but yeah, this is really fun. This is definitely a look I would wear to like a formal or something. Um, now that we have our face completed, make sure to set it with set spray that will keep it in place all day. So I'm not going to set mine. I would usually use like a rose water setting spray that I have um, when I do my normal makeup every day. 
but um this was super fun i would love to do it again um just a review of the whole process it wasn't as hard as i thought it was gonna be i was honestly expecting like a challenge that was gonna be like super in-depth and like hard and i was gonna be doing like art on my eyes and like all this crazy stuff so i give this a thumbs up this was super fun um don't forget to look down below in the link in the description to follow ashley on her youtube channel and her instagram don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed also subscribe to all things sam for all things college beauty and lifestyle and i'll talk to you guys next week